today is Monday, August 10th. Um, about to interview a very good friend of mine, Junior Judy, who I met during my time at Weber International. Um, so as you can see behind me, I'm starting to set up uh, for this episode. So stay tuned. So that was a bit of a behind the scenes look. Um, I have the curtain on its side. It's supposed to go more up and down. Um, it's supposed to be about six feet wide. Right now it's probably like 11 feet wide or so. But I do it that way because you would see all of that whenever I shoot the interviews. Um, so I have to put it that way and that way it doesn't catch all that extra space. It only keeps it on the black. So that's why I do that. All right, people, I got I got Junior here with me now. Um, we're about to get started with this episode. Say what up, June. What's going on, family? So that was June. Um, his episode will be out hopefully by next week. I can get it together, put it together. Um, but I'm very excited for this. Uh, it's been long in the making, so let's get to it. Damn point on uh, what you can do and can't do, so... Mm -hmm. uh, that's about, that's pretty much about it. Yeah. Okay. What is it, like the end of this month? Yeah, the 29th. Yeah. Cause you and, what, Johnson like back to back, ain't you? Yeah, Johnson's on the 25th. Yeah. And that is that. Interview is over with Junior. Um, it was a great interview. Honestly, in my opinion, I think every interview that I do is great. Um, but I really think that was a great interview. Um, we didn't waste too much on small talk. We got in, got out. I believe the interview is between 25 to 30 minutes. So about where I like it. So last night, I got to see my guy, Will Spriggs, before he left off for college. Um, at St. Ambrose, which is out in Iowa, if I'm correct. Um, got to say my, my goodbye to him before he goes off to school. Um, that next chapter in life, shout out to, to Miles, Quay, and Ty as well as they go off to college in the next few weeks. Um, it really had me reminiscing. I'm sitting there talking to him last night um, of, what, 10, 11 years ago when I was packing up the night before I was to go off to college and I remember friend Alec came to, to say goodbye to me um, and some other people I hung out with within those, those prior weeks. So uh, it was very nostalgic, uh, just knowing exactly where, where they all are headed, where Will is headed specifically um, in life. And I told him, man, this is this will be the, the best four years of your life or however long you end up spending in college. Um, so, wish the best for him. So now, headed up to the school. Uh, gotta change my password on my email because I can't get into it right now. So, the only way I can do that is I have to be on the school's network. So, headed up to do that. <laughs> I had no success in getting my password back. Um, Got to go through some other steps. I'll get that situated. But I really need to get into my email. Very important. But looks like it's about to storm out here. So let me go ahead and get back inside. So I didn't get the job that I applied for. Um, probably like a month or so ago to be a PE coach. I didn't get it. Um, so I had to figure out what's next. How can I get my foot in the door? Um, so recently I joined an alternate certification program um, where I can get the field experience, which I was missing because I'm not an education major. And um, it gives me an opportunity to earn my professional license, which is a five-year license to be a teacher. Um, so I've joined the program through Teacher Ready. Um, since 
um, I didn't get that and I decided to, to join this program. Um, I've had to alter some things in my life. Um, so I left my, my job at where I was working as a security guard. Um, I left there. Um, I'll still be coaching there, but I left there. And now I will be, um, well, I just applied for, I just applied for a job. Um, it's like a right, right around the corner from my house, um, part-time job so that I can do this um, alter, alternate certification program, internship, if you, if you call it, um, to help me get my foot in the door. So that's what I'm doing. Oh, man, it feels good to be outside. Shout out to all the teachers. Went back to school today uh, in Duval County. Um, I wish you, wish you the best. Be safe out there in these troubling times. I'm about to go Chick-fil-A. Um, dad brought home two Chick-fil-A sandwiches. So I'm gonna go to Chick-fil-A, get me some free fries. Uh, make a meal out of it because I haven't ate all day and I think it's like four o'clock right now. So I'm headed This ain't Florida in a nutshell. It was super, it's still super hot. But now it's raining out of nowhere. I drove, drove right into it. Ugh. And now it's not raining anymore. Look at that. That is where I place my camera for the car shots, in case anyone was wondering. The reason I love Chick-fil-A is that if you do a mobile order, they don't start making it until you actually arrive as opposed to some other places you do a mobile order, you might request a time and you have to, you know, if you arrive late, your junk gonna be cold. So big props to, to Chick-fil-A. Jeez, my lips chap and I have chapstick that's that's the worst thing I need to go put some on but anyways back to the crib about to go eat um, hopefully this weather passes over I mean, hopefully it doesn't rain or if it does rain I'll just wait it out um, and go for a little bike ride I really love like the scenery I'm just listening to the birds and dogs barking all that stuff that's really why I go for bike rides, uh, no music at all. Just just riding, enjoying um, what the earth has to offer us. So I advise you to get out. All right. It has rained twice since we last talked. I'm about to get after it. I'm gonna run around the block a few times, get a little warm up, then I'll hop on the bike so I can cruise um, and enjoy this nice weather, nice scenery. I'm gone.
As you can see, so far, uh, nice views going on these back roads. It's very scenic. I love it. Hopefully, you're enjoying it as well, man. enough vlogging for today i will see you guys tomorrow which will be thursday i'm um, gonna go inside get a nice little shower maybe read maybe i probably will but um yeah i'm about done see ya matter of fact i knew i forgot something i got work to do another day another dollar my friends today is thursday um so the last few days i've been researching different editing software for my videos um i've heard a lot about adobe and then i have a macbook so i also heard a lot about um what is it final cut pro so after doing some research um i'm gonna go with final cut pro but they give you apple gives you a 90 day trial so why not do the trial to see how it works with the computer um, so that's what I plan to do. They also have a student discount, if you didn't know, where you get a bundle where it includes Final Cut Pro and Logic Pro. Um, so perhaps I could create my own beats and music for my videos, which I think would be pretty cool, even though I've never made a beat before. So I'm going to try out both, see how I like them. Um, I have 90 days, so three months to try all this out. So we'll see from there, and I'll, I'll give you an update eventually. But until then, um, what do we have for the rest of the day? We'll figure it out. Headed off to Walmart. Need to get myself a calendar. I know it's pretty late in the year, but I need a calendar um, just so I can keep track of things. I usually put it in my phone, but when I have other a whole bunch of other stuff I do with my phone and my laptop, um, I need something separate to write down uh, my plans and things I need to do. So that's where we're headed. Michigan Pleat. I got my planner, nice little planner. I think it was about $5. I know some people out there, they spend $50, $60 on a planner. Um, I'm not doing that. I just needed to keep track of things. Um, so I got that and then I went to Sprouts um, and got a few groceries um, so I can eat for the next few days. Um, Sprouts, that's the place to be. Go check that out. A lot of good food it's not your normal brands that you're used to in like walmart and target whatever you shop at but check out check out sprouts it's most definitely
Back at it again, cooking myself some dinner. You know, basic pasta with a side of garlic bread. Um, I've been on, on a pasta craze um, these past few weeks, probably the past few months I've been on a pasta craze. Um, but it's not your traditional uh, pasta. Um, there's no cheese and I use plant-based ground beef. Um, not to say everything I eat is plant-based, but the majority of stuff is plant-based. So uh, it's just something I've been trying out since probably uh, March, I believe, basically right before the pandemic happened. So that's what I got on the schedule for the rest of the night. Um, I'll do a little bit of work um, with videos and actual schoolwork and then get prepared for tomorrow. It'll be my first day on the job. It'll be an on-the-job interview. So um, they'll give me three days uh, to see if I like it, to see if I'm a good fit, and then they'll go from there. So looking forward to it, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Back at it, another Friday, another day here on the vlog. Um, first day went well, can't complain, won't complain. Um, in the meantime, about to go back to Walmart because my mom actually got me a, a calendar, a planner to be exact, um, that's better than what I bought. Um, I think she found it from Ross or something. It's pretty cool. It has like a leather cover and all that stuff. Um, so uh, she had that waiting for me and I had went to the store to, to get, get a plan of my own. So it's crazy how great minds think alike or just how God works. Um, but that's where I'm headed. So I'll see you in a few. Hello, I'm here on this nice Sunday. Um, about to end my week cutting some grass. So I'll see y'all. Hopefully y'all have a great week. Thanks for tuning in. If this a fight, then I'm a heavyweight. Super light, I'm in the darkest place. Suit inside me in a coffin cake.